if I were to actually read Dr. Bros's um, resume, she would not have time to speak. The, she has done so many things, uh, all seemingly targeted at one thing, and that is to advocate for, to promote, and to, uh, and to encourage civil courage in society. Dr. Gross, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear distinguished guests, dear friends, dear Dorothy, uh, Peter, uh, Harry, John, Laszlo, Hilly, what a privilege to have you all here in Sarajevo. It's my great pleasure and honor to welcome you all today and to address you. I would like to share with you my concerns, my thoughts, my nightmares. We can talk about recent war which destroyed BNDH very much. We can stress that Dayton Constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina have frozen the war in the country. I can retell Clausewitz's famous line that war is a mere continuation of politics by other means. That in BH case, peace is continuation of war by other means by politics. I have a question for you who work and run universities all around the globe. How can we start to talk about democracy and the university in a turbulent world, sitting in Sarajevo, the capital of BH, knowing that BH is very high positioned on the world's list of corrupted countries? Here, in the lecturing room, are some professors who experienced corruption at some universities in Bosnia and Herzegovina and left the country being this guest. If the society is corrupted from the top to the bottom, including educational system, as it is in Bosnia and Herzegovina, who are those who should teach about duty to disobey? What obstacles should face those who dare to show their civil courage? They should immediately become labeled as traitors and enemies. They will be sacked if they do have a job or expelled from universities if they are students. How can we fight the fear? So legitimate feeling in the corrupted societies. Where is the starting point of education on democracy? Isn't it something about civil courage as a precondition for democratization. Here we are. Although majority of us will agree that the education on issue on civil courage should start at the age of four, in BH society instead, we do have a lot of discussions about introducing religious education in the kindergartens. Some of them adopted this at least regressive idea, starting with the vision of kids while they are three. In the country in which youth are educated to obey to the different, very often negative authorities while they are between three and doctoral studies, it is hard to find the room and the way for appropriate education about civil courage. With the 13 ministries of education in Bosnia and Herzegovina, with less than 4 million inhabitants and dozens of textbooks of democracy and human rights, there is none in which civil courage has been mentioned. Imagine lecturing for over 100,000 secondary school and university students who had never heard about civil courage. Well, it is my own experience, which leads me towards the conclusion that authorities in Bosnia and Herzegovina do their best to exclude any chance of such kind of education. Why should the majority of politicians seek to have responsible, well-educated, and courageous citizens ready to resist, to oppose, and to disobey when necessary, when, in this case, majority of, of them will be in prison instead of being in power? Those days, the world is faced by a few very famous whistleblowers, such as Snowden and Manning, 
who become heroes of millions, although or just because they pay the price of their civil courage. In VH during the war and in the post-war period lived and live hundreds of stalwart people who risked or sacrificed their life in the name of their moral norms. They were all anonymous heroes to which somebody should cast light. Well, NGO Garivo developed program education towards civil courage in which we would like to cast light to all those people who should be our role models. Somebody should do this job. And in this society, one small non-governmental, non-profit organization take the responsibility of doing this job. So far, I mentioned we worked with over 100,000 students, and so far we translated and published over 18 books about civil courage because we have heard a lot of complaining uh, by teachers and professors in Bosnia and Herzegovina that there were no literature in our languages about this issue. Well, today they have a small library of 18 books translated from all around the world about uh, civil courage, which is absolutely universal issue. In, in 2007, we had a tragedy that our director of schools of civil courage, Professor Dusko Kondor, professor of democracy and human rights in Bielina, has been assassinated in a political assassination. After him, we named the award uh, about civil courage, Dusko Kondor Civil Courage Award. So far, we do have 34 laureates who are the brightest and the stalwart human beings in Bosnia and Herzegovina and West Balkan region, and who are all and should be all the teachers of civil courage, the teachers of those who kept their moral norms in the worst of times during the war or in the post-war period, which is, uh, again, unfortunately, very unpleasant time for the majority of the citizens of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So if we talk about the possibility of uh, demonstrating civil courage, during the war, it was uh, very often uh, situations in which human beings who protect their moral norms paid by their life, their moral norms. In the post-war period, fortunately, the, uh, we have a less of such kind of examples, although we still have Dusko Kondor as the example of, of the man who had the civil courage to testify against the war criminals and war profiteers who are still in power in very many places in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And he paid his readiness to testify by his life. But in the post-war period, there are so many people who are waking up, who do not want to continue to be the bystander in their own lives. And what our NGO is working is that we want to provide the critical mass of responsible individuals in the society who might make and influence changes, necessary changes in the society. Well, I'm not sure when this process will be done, but I know that so many of young people are today ready to fight for their rights. They're ready to switch from the position of bystanders to the position of upstanders, which I do believe is extraordinarily important for all of us. Uh, otherwise, we will not be able to, to organize a society in which we will not be ashamed with a lot of negative phenomena. And uh, I'm sure that if you help us in doing so, if you, during your conference, would start to think about this phenomenon and how you, as uh, representatives from the different universities or our youth whom I see in this lecturing room, and I'm very happy to see uh, all of you now today here, uh, will start to think about what is your role in the society and how can you contribute by showing civil courage when necessary to provide uh, at least your human rights or human rights to somebody else who is 
in danger or humiliated, we will have a much more, much better society and our NGO will have a less of job. Now the NGO is working to provide a long TV documentary series of at least 40 episodes, 30 minutes episodes, which means about one year of broadcasting on the TVs in the West Balkan region about those people who were uh, anonymous heroes and who should share their experience and uh, their deeds with the majority of inhabitants of this region. I can speak endlessly about this issue because it is just the 21st year of my dealing with, with uh, civil courage. But I do suppose that uh, uh, we can continue our discussion if you want to ask something or to say something to me uh, or to advise something at the reception, which I think is uh, in front of us. So I would like to thank you all for coming. I would like to wish you all the best results of the conference. And I would like to invite you to think a little bit about civil courage as a real precondition for democratization all over the world, especially in the black holes, as I used to call the states, failed states, or states after the uh, destroyed by the recent wars. Thank you again.